What's up guys, my name is Modern Masters is Nanius, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series on the channel, Pokemon Top 5. In this series, I'll be counting down my top 5 favorite Pokemon in whatever category that it may be. And to keep it plain and simple for the first episode, I will be counting down my top 5 favorite Pokemon. Keep in mind that this list is 100% opinionated, and if you do not agree with anything on the list, which you probably won't because I have a very strange list, be sure to leave your own top 5 down in the comment section below. I would love to see what you guys love in terms of your Pokemon. So we're going to go straight into this, because I'm excited for this, so let's go! Coming in at number 5, we have Tangrowth. Now, you guys might think Tangrowth is a very strange Pokemon, and I, and I completely understand. Tangrowth isn't really the best Pokemon, it's not the most used Pokemon, and it is a pretty good tank, but hear me out. So, the first ever Nuzlocke I ever did, ever, and actually completed, was a Pokemon White 2. And I still have that file to this day. It was about a year ago, I believe. So, um, I ended up catching a Tangela on one of the routes. I'm not sure which one. I don't remember. And, um, so there are two reasons why I absolutely love Tangrowth now. So, I ended up evolving into, into a Tangrowth, obviously. And that Tangrowth ended up being the only Pokemon to survive at the 8th gym. That's one reason. And then... Time comes, it's the end of the game. Only Pokemon alive is my Tangrowth. Tangent the Tangrowth. Female. I think it was like Assassinator or something like that. And I soloed the Elite Four with a Tangrowth. Yeah. It was just so awesome. And to this day, I still love Tangrowth as a Pokemon. I have one in X and Y. Uh, I actually don't think I've gotten around to using it. So I really got get around to using that, and I'm just, mmm, Tangrowth. Coming in at number four, we have Leafeon. Now, Leafeon has become a Pokemon that I've definitely started to love recently. Um, I had Xander in the Pokemon Platinum, Randomized Nuzlocke, yeah, that was it. It was Platinum that had Xander, the Leafeon, and I was very happy with Xander, until he ended up dying, but um, I still really like Leafeon as a Pokemon. I love, love, love its design, and in Gen 4, its little animation when you send it out, it like leaps its paw up and closes its eyes and lowers its head. It's so cute and so elegant, and it's really good too. I really think it should be higher than PU, which I know isn't really an official tiering, but if you're going by the official tiering, then it should be higher than NU, at least are you? Because Leafeon's a great physical defensive Pokemon, and it also has a base like 110 attack or something like that. So it can be good as a physical wall or a physical sweeper. Really any way that you want to run a Leafeon, it can really be up to you. Um, I wouldn't really suggest a specially defensive one though. Or a special attacking one. Well, you, I guess you can run a specially attacking Leafeon. I'm not sure about what its base special attack is, but who knows. Coming in at number 3, we have Swellow. Now, if you guys watched... Episode 2 of the Pokemon Sapphire Wedlock that I currently have going on, then you know I absolutely fucking hate Taylo now. But I still really love Swellow. Um, when I first got my competitive Swellow, um, not I don't remember what I called it. Um, but when I first got my competitive Swellow, I and I used it for the first time. I was so freaking happy with this thing. I brought it onto Battle Spot, and it's the basic um guts facade set. Uh, Swallow, and that thing puts in so much work. I love it. I love it so much. Swallow is so fast. It's powerful. It one-shots everything. I love it. Coming in at number two, we have Chandelure. Now, I also really recently started loving Chandelure, but the only reason that Chandelure is so high up on this list, not only because it's a really great Pokemon, it's a really great special sweeper, and you can also run it as a special defensive Pokemon, but the only other reason that it's on here is because I was considering using it as my mascot at one point. Not even my favorite Pokemon. Um, sure I had my mascot for a while, and then I started using Steven, and I'm thinking of bringing back my old mascot. But at some point, I don't remember when, I was actually considering using Chandelure as my mascot because I love Chandelure, I love its design, I love its typing. Ghost Fire is just such an awesome typing. And 
it's just such a great Pokemon. It's very, it's very powerful. It's awesome. Its design is awesome. Its typing is awesome. Its evolutions are awesome. Well, not really evolutions. I mean, it's pre-evolutions. I really like Litwick. I love Litwick's design. I think it's really cute. And Chandelure. Coming in at number one, we have God. Well, Gumi. Gumi. Ah, Gumi. It's just Gumi. Oh my god, Gumi. Gumi, 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 Gumi. I remember when I first saw the Gumi leaks, I was like, holy shit, I need this thing. It's adorable. It's probably going to be awesome. I love it. It's Gumi. Um, I just. Oh my god. People always underestimate the Gudra line, or at least its pre evolutions. If you think about it, Gudra and Sligu are the only good ones out of the lines, and you would think that Gudra is like my favorite Pokemon because I don't really like Sligu. Sligu is a pretty weird Pokemon, but I absolutely hate the evolution between Sligu and Gudra. I hate that it needs to be in the rain or whatever, and you can't even just use Rain Dance to evolve it. But anyway, Gumi is just really great in Little Cup, and it's it has such a diverse move pool, and it has like base 75 special attack or something like that, which is pretty good. And, Little Cup, if you think about it, as compared to, like, Avril, which has, like, 110 or something like that. But it's really cute design, and it's dragon typing, and it's moveset, and it's... Ah, Gumi! So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Pokemon Top 5. If you did, make sure you leave, make sure to leave a like if you really did enjoy it. I don't know what I'm saying right now. This is, like, the 10th time I've tried recording this, and I'm not doing it again. Um, if you really did enjoy it, then make sure you leave a like. If you want, you can leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment telling me your own top 5 favorite Pokemon in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see, to see some more like it, then please subscribe because... Uh, what am I saying? Um, please subscribe because it lets me know that people are liking what I'm doing. And it lets me know what people like, especially um, if I get subscriptions from current series that I'm doing so I know what people like. Uh, so once again, make sure you leave a like. My name is Matt or Masses Nanius. Later!